Hey guys, Tyler here, and thanks for checking out this video, and it's finally here, 8.2 Rise of Ashara. I'm really looking forward to the, the latest addition to the expansion, and we are going to be talking about our 8.2 Marksman Hunter Guide right now. Uh, this is live, so I did make sure and wait till it was live to put out the information. But we're going to talk about the opener. Rotation doesn't change too much. Uh, some quality of life changes with essences, so I'll tell you the essence that I'm looking for. Uh, my stat weights, a uh, little bit on Azerite trades, add-ons, and maybe even bosses to coin in the coming raid. So, without further ado, let's get started. Mr. Eggplant presents... So again, welcome guys. Thanks for checking out this video and thank you for supporting me. This has been a full entire uh, expansion that I've been making these videos. I started making these in 7.1.5 in Legion and now here we are 8.2 already. So what I was saying earlier is that we will be talking about some various things and then I will put links to certain things and timestamps in the description of this video. So please, if you guys are looking for a cer certain thing, please click down below and uh, check those out. So as it goes for opener, uh, just give you guys a little bit of a heads up because it would change if you're running with one build versus another. There's two big builds that are currently going on uh, with Marksman Hunter. You've got your Unerring Visions build, which is what I've got, which focuses around getting the most out of your true shot windows. And then there is also the the in the rhythm focus fire like machine gun build that has a lot of mobility and that focuses largely around getting your rapid fire and getting it uh, to reset with uh, surging shots. Uh, so this would keep in mind change just a little bit if you are running with uh, unerring visions which we're going to go ahead and talk about that because that's what I do and that's what I like. So I run with three unerring visions, two in the rhythm, although I did end up having one item with trade wins as you can see there uh, and then one focus fire uh, and this will be the standard opener that I do. Like I've done this entire last uh, major patch with 8.1.5 and Battle for Dazarlor. I did the same thing. It's very simple. So you just get on your dummy there. You always have your hunter's mark up. And then keep in mind, I will go ahead and put talents in here as well. If you are running uh, with the Unerring Visions build, you're trying to maximize how many true shots you get out at one time in one fight, uh, which means you want to run with careful marksmen because. Uh, you're also going to be running with calling the shots. Every arcane shot you use, 2.5 seconds off that uh, that two minute cooldown on true shot, and then you get a free uh, arcane shot every time you use an aim shot, which is just like easy money because you want to get as many aim shots towards the end of your true shot as possible because you get that stacking crit, you have a higher chance to crit the target, which is double damage than what we want. So talents uh, goes uh, marksman, master marksman. Uh, these pretty much are not viable for uh, marksman. Uh, murder of crows is good for beast mastery, but that's about it. Uh, careful aim is by far the best here. In fact, uh, talk to JB. Uh, he'll be ahead of me by 4K on a fight on like Grong, for example, from last tier, and I will I will catch him and be like right up neck and neck with him within like six cast. It's crazy good. Uh, 45 doesn't really matter, but in most raid settings in Mythic Plus, you want to run with uh, Natural Mending, although in PvP slash Arenas, I do run with Camouflage to sneak up on people. Uh, as for level 60, uh, Streamline is what you want if you're running the other build, like the Machine Gun build, because most of your damage is going to be out of your Rapid Fire, but I choose not to run with it just because it feels makes my the way I play clunky it doesn't mean that it's gonna be clunky for you I run with hunter's mark I don't always put it up on the target I try to especially if it's a priority target that will be up for a little while to make it well worth the uh, the global cooldown uh, level 75 post haste for most situations because it does get you out of that uh, snare very important I do run with uh, born to be wild especially on fights like um, mecha torque it was very important to run with that and then level 90 uh, I run with double tap because really lethal shots is meh because they nerfed it to the ground after old deer and then barrage is just kind of barrage you know it's just a hassle and doesn't really do a lot of damage so let's go ahead and get to that opener that I was talking about as I rudely interrupted myself so in the opener I will write it in the description of the video as well because I know it's a lot easier to read uh, type than it is to listen to a video and I completely understand that so be sure and check that out down below uh, but what we are going to do is we're going to put uh, the hunter's mark on the target. Make sure it's like a priority target, you know, like a boss, that sort of thing. 
Uh, we're going to cast double tap with about eight seconds left. I do eight seconds because if I am MDing a, a, uh, a tank, I want I put MD on it about six seconds because it is a, is an eight second uh, misdirect. Then I will uh, use my pre pot because I'll use that about three seconds because I'm, we're going to be pre casting aim shot with like if you're using DBM the countdown like when three starting to go away is when I I use it because I have a 2.2 cast time on my aim shot and it usually hits right as the tank is pulling in. Plus, if you're MDing, you're never going to pull aggro, so you're good. So we will have pre-casted our aim shot, then we that will have also eaten up our double tap, so it would have done that 50% bonus damage because he's above 80%. Uh, we'll use our rapid fire to get that on cooldown because when we use our true shot, we get those back. Then you'll come over here and you'll use any of your on hit or uh, racials, excuse me, or on use trinkets. See, I don't have any right now running with loaded dice and resonating heart. I don't bother with them most of the time. Some of the new trinkets though, uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna like those. So we'll have to check that out in another video, of course. So you'll use the, the racial slash on use trinkets. Then you'll come over here and do true shot. Then you'll go aim shot, because it'll be up off cooldown. It'll, then you'll go into rapid fire because your rapid fire will be starting to go away the buff that it gets from in the rhythm then you'll come over here and use an arcane shot to start whittling down that cooldown of true shot then you'll come over and do aim shot again then you'll do arcane shot then you'll do rapid fire and then you're going to be getting to the point where you're you're full stacked of your um, of your uh, unerring visions so then you're going to just go aim shot Arcane shot, aim shot, arcane shot, aim shot, arcane shot, and that will get uh, to your full duration. I burst uh, anywhere between, uh, I think probably like a bad burst for me is like 35k. I've had that on a few fights, unfortunately. Like if I just miss having a uh, like another aim shot or something like that, or I've bursted as high, like in a raid setting, mind you, to like 55k. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you me running through it here in just a second and uh, see how I do. All right, so as for the rotation, there's not a set rotation. It's pretty much a priority. There's, especially for marksmen, there's no such thing as a rotation anymore. If you're running unerring vision, like I am, the whole point of your build is to get to another true shot as soon as possible. That is the goal. You want to get as many as possible to do your most amount of damage. Uh, so the entire time, I'm just going to, I'd never let aim shot stop at two charges, and I try to use rapid fire on cooldown because rapid fire when you use it will give you your in the rhythm stacks which gives you extra haste that's why you can afford to low run you can run low haste excuse me uh, and then I'm just constantly using all of my arcane shot procs all of the empowered on uh, arcane shots I use uh, so when you're not in those burst windows it's okay to or it's not okay to waste them whereas it is okay um, when you're trying to get the aim shots out as a priority uh, then using double tap, you if you're in that 80-20 range, you want to use double tap on aim shot because you're doing 50% uh, more damage and you're doing that twice. Also, fun fact, if you're going to spray onto something, which you'll use uh, multi-shot to do that, if you use double tap, it doesn't say it in the, the text, but it will automatically spray. So like you don't need... If we run over here really fast, uh, you don't need to go and get your your bombardment. Um, I guess whatever it, it's just the buff that it gives. I'll just do it right here. So you get you get your trick shots. I guess is what they call it now. Uh, so you don't have to worry about getting that. You can just automatically use double tap. In fact, here let me show you. So I have don't have the buff up there, and I'm going to go ahead and use double tap, and it's going to hit all of those targets, or at least it should. See? And it popped all of those, and we just did 329k in like one attack, which was amazing. So it's an, it's not written in there, but I found that uh, when I was doing a lot of Mythic Pluses this season. So as for, like I said, the rotation, it doesn't change too much. However, 
that this kind of talks into what I was going to talk about here in a second, which is essence. So the essences are the new things for your heart of Azeroth, which mine's a lovely level 50. And I haven't done too much research into them, but there is one in particular that I absolutely love, and it's going to be amazing for people running Unerring Visions, or probably everybody at this point. It's from King Mechagon from Operation Mechagon. Uh, which it's called the engine of mecha perfection. So if you read it there, it's that's just, this is just the rank one, mind you. So if you infuse the, your heart of Azeroth with the vision of perfection in the major area, your spells and abilities have a chance to activate True Shot for 25% of its base duration. Its base duration is 15 seconds. So it, the 25 seconds is roughly like four and a half seconds, which doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're running with Unerring Vision, you're you can easily get like a couple at least one aim shot off in that where that's going to have a higher chance to crit or just even if you don't get aim shots off anything you're doing is gaining critical strike because for every uh, let's see let's see how long it is exactly so i'm starting at a base 14 percent my true shots we're going to count to four right one two three four we're at 40 percent crit from doing nothing but using our normal abilities and not changing the way we play at all so if i get that to pop up which weak aura is very important to be able to track that for yourself that's what i just popped up there on the screen uh, which i have a video on that i'll link, put a link in the description as well uh, it's very important to immediately try to use some sort of big cooldown like your your aim shot or at least a rapid fire to capitalize on that extra damage uh, but the other version, let me go back here, the minor trait is a reduces the cooldown of True Shot by 15%, which is what we're trying to do. That's the whole point of the Unerring Visions build, is to have a lower cooldown of your True Shot, which means naturally you're going to get more True Shots out. 15% doesn't sound like a lot. It's 18 seconds on a 2 minute cooldown. If you're at 18 seconds, so you use it, right? So you're at 2 minutes. You use it, there's 15 seconds which it's going on cooldown. So you're at a minute 45. Take away 18 off the top and you're already sub 1 minute and 30 seconds. My goal is to get it to be about a 1 minute and 5 second cooldown. I could usually get that pretty easily. So we're going to be sub 1 minute for every single true shot. That's crazy. That, that's super awesome and that's just going to increase our damage because that's you know kind of what marksman hunters want, right? So that is the one essence that I'm going to be looking for right now. Uh, talked about the, the major and the minor portions of it. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't know too much about essences, but all I know, I'm going for that thing. And it's, I believe it's 100% chance once you complete Mechagon, the dungeon, which comes out here in two weeks along with the raid. So going ahead to our stats, uh, this is a stat build that I like to go with. Uh, and I've seen some great results, so take it with it what you will. And it does help that I am running with the Mastery Trinket right now, so it will change. Because I will be probably picking up one of the Agility Trinkets that drops out of Raid. So as for the uh, traits that you want to go for, Weapon Damage, always key. Weapon Damage is so important to the amount of damage we can put out overall. So it's going to be weapon damage, then it's mastery. As you can see here, I'm stacking a heck of a lot of mastery, over 2k, but that's large part thanks to uh, my mastery trinket and a couple of really nice socketed pieces. I got really lucky this go around. But then I go mastery, and then I go agility, our main stat, and then I go to haste right around 12%. The reason I do 12% is that that's what I feel like a good flow at 12%. Now there could be a an up like for example if you're running with three in the rhythms you can probably go lower because you're going to just get an obscene amount of haste whenever you cast your rapid fires. Uh, but for me, in the way my playstyle works, the 12% is usually uh, what I'm going to go for. So then I go uh, haste to 12%, then versatility, then crit. Versa crit's pretty much worthless to us until we can get it to a point where we can crit cap, which there is a a uh, trinket that might be able to get us to crit cap, but I would have to try it out myself since I didn't do anything on the PTR. Uh, and then, like I said, so I go uh, weapon damage, mastery, agility, haste to 12%, uh, versatility, and then finally crit. So as for the Azerite traits that are, in my opinion, uh, worth picking up, of course, if you're running with unerring vision, you want to run with all three unerring visions, or at least two. Then you run with In the Rhythm for your 
others and then I like to run with one focus fire because it does beef up uh, the amount of focus you get from your rapid fire because rapid fires itself gives you just 10 focus but I have found on an average that it gives me approximately uh, I think it was 14 to 16 focus I've also found uh, that if you're running with the other build the uh, in the rhythm so you want to run with three in the rhythms two focus fire and then one surging shots because surging shots has that 15 percent chance of when you cast an aim shot to reset the cooldown of your uh, rapid fire which is pretty much you know your meat and potatoes of that build uh, also good to have are just surging shots in general I would never run with more than one because it's a unique passive and then trade wins which I've got up here on my uh, my helm, uh, which just gives you 1,000 mastery, which increases our damage by like 30%. It's crazy. Okay, 30% is probably pushing it. Let's see what it is, actually. Come on. You know you want to give it to me, game. Well, either way, uh, getting getting that extra 1,000 mastery, uh, well, I'm sitting right here right now at uh, 2,000 mastery, and it's increasing my damage by... 21%. So you can just say like another a solid 10% just from a random proc. That's that's pretty good. And then for the the other ones, uh, heed my call is very good as well as overwhelming power. That's the number one. Uh, just because it's haste. It's haste is king right now. It's really good, especially since it doesn't affect our our focus region. So haste is important to get those long casts out. Uh, much faster and then heed my call and gut ripper so heed my call is on the other one and then gut ripper is a single target one it's just a bleed and it has a like a kill shot effect where it happens more often uh, above or below 30 percent health and then the defensives uh, resounding protection is king because a shield that always comes back that just prevents damage that's nothing but win right there uh, I also like to run with I've got two of those now wow uh, nature salve uh, which I was actually running with three nature salve for a while my it makes your uh, exhilaration heal for uh, basically 30k addition per uh, one that you're running and it does stack so like I was healing myself for like 160k like it was just insane like JB would be in in group and I just be like oh don't bother healing me why boom full health so that was always fun it was, it's basically like an oh crap button so as for add-ons, I do have my my weak auras here. I have this one, and then you have the trick shot ones with whenever you hit three targets with your multi-shot. It's very important that you run with one of these. Uh, if you run with any add-ons, I would definitely run with this one, just because it makes your life so much easier, so you don't have to go up there and look for those. Uh, then I also run with DBM. Obviously, I have Quartz, which is my cast bar, which is this here. It just comes from quality of life things. Bartender, if you want to move some stuff around like I do here. I use details for my, my damage, as well as class mods. That's this health bar you see here in the middle and up front here. And then I also run with Titan Panel, but I currently don't have that because you guys will see in a later mo video, I actually got a new computer, so I'm still uh, re-uploading everything to this one. So as for bosses to coin, because obviously you want to get in there and get to Mechagon, but if it's a 100% chance, obviously you don't need to use it just for that onto him. But if you want to come down to raids here and go to Eternal Palace, uh, the first boss I'm going to start coining, unless I get really lucky, is the Orgozoa because he is the first thing to drop a weapon that is our correct stats. I do not like weapons like this one where it just does X amount of damage, blah, 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 blah. And plus, this one gives you crit. We don't want crit, right? at least right now. So Orgozoa, I can still barely say his name, uh, is what I'm going to be going for. I will be coining him unless I get really lucky and he drops it. And then Zaquel, uh, because he dropped some really nice shoulders. So just to give you guys a... Oh yeah, whoops, I'm in combat. Let's not be in combat, there we go. Uh, just to give you an idea of what I look for, so I want in in the rhythm, or it gives me focus fire, because I want to run with one focus fire and the rest in the rhythm. Uh, but it also has my unerring vision here on the inside. It has my overwhelming power on this, kind of like the secondary abilities, and then it has our resounding protection inside. So that's exactly what we want. This is like the perfect piece. Uh, this shoulder will probably be what I'm running. I will probably be running this chest piece because that'll give me the focus fire and the at least one nature salve that I want. So there's a good chance I would run within the rhythm 
on the shoulders and then I haven't figured out what I'm going to do for my helm yet but I will put a video for like my quote BIS gear that I'm going to be uh, gunning for. So last but not least we have our pots and consumables uh, basically enchants, potions, food, that sort of thing. So right now uh, Masterful Navigation is probably going to be really cheap right now. Uh, they just gives you that a little bit of mastery every time you attack or has a chance every time you attack. The incendiary ammo is really good especially if you don't have a very good weapon because it's super cheap like 100 gold on my server will get you one. Uh, but then there's also force multiplier which is one of the new ones that KISS came out uh, with 8.2 which gives you a little bit of agility I think it's like 263 ish and then it also gives you one of your secondary stats which it picks the first one or your, your, the one you have the most of, which is Mastery. I would go with that one, but it's going to be uber expensive uh, right now. Uh, as for your ring enchants, I didn't look to see if they added a new ring enchant. Honestly, I'm sure they did. Uh, so we, I, right now I have my plus 40 Mastery. I'm, I'm pretty sure they have another enchant for ring, but I actually didn't look to, for that one, unfortunately. So I'll be just putting, putting rings on my or I'll be putting mastery on my rings unless for some reason I find a way to get to a crit cap very easily uh, otherwise uh, mastery is the way to go and then your potions obviously are your superior battle pots of agility which I still have not learned to make because I haven't even went to Mechagon or uh, Najatar yet uh, so you're going to want the, the superior potion of agility your Xenthanid is going to be the new uh, flower that is over in Nagaland, I've got a lot of riverbuds saved up for these, and then also you're going to want the Flask of the Currents, uh, which is a lot more of the Xenthanoid, but then also Sea Stocks, which I apparently need to really work on because I kind of thought I'd have a lot for that. And I've got a lot of anchor weed saved up over the last couple uh, days, uh, but this was kind of a quick abbreviated guide for 8.2. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you learned something. Uh, definitely leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought. What are you going to be building? What Are you going to be running Unerring Visions? Are you going to be running a different build? Are you going to be going Beast Mastery or Survival? Please let me know. I would love to chat with you guys about it. And then I also have a bunch of links uh, to other ways you can talk to me, whether it's Twitter. I've had people do that, uh, which I appreciate somebody actually reaching out to me this last week to see if I was going to be making an 8.2 video, which, surprise, I am. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, life kind of got in the way of this last couple of weeks uh, and actually had uh, my girlfriend Haley uh, lost her mom this, um, this last week. So this video, I guess, in a way, is dedicated to her mom, Jill, which is always... A uh, big supporter of me here on my YouTube channel, and uh, uh, I'm gonna definitely miss her, and I appreciate everything that uh, that she has done for me here. So I I don't have a lot to, else to talk about other than the links uh, down below where you can reach to me with me, reach out to me. Excuse me, I cannot talk today. Uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter, I do have stuff on Twitch. I'll be doing some vintage video games. If you guys want to hang out with me over there, I do live streams like three times a week. I'm currently on hiatus until I can get my life figured out here uh, from this last couple of weeks. Um, but I'll have a video out on my new computer. It'll probably be out before this. Might be out after. We'll find out. Uh, definitely throw me a follow over there on Twitch if you would like to do so. I do have a subscribe button over there too if you guys get the free subscription from... Uh, Amazon Prime, I think you can get a free subscription every month. You can get some perks. We haven't exactly figured out what they're going to be yet, but please uh, be looking forward to those, and I hope to speak with you guys very soon. And I will be live streaming uh, Raid once it comes out on the night. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for listening to me ramble, and until my next live stream or video, I'll catch you later.